Keep the patio in use long after the days of summer have gone, make that cold bonus room toasty, and prepare for winter power outages with a non-electric heater. So in today's video, we will show you the top 5 best non-electric heater on the market. This will help you save money in the long run. We made this list based on price, performance, durability, and user feedback. To see more information and the most up-to-date prices, check out the links in the description below. Number 1. Amazon Basics 46000 BTU Outdoor Propane Patio Heater This outdoor gas heater boasts a 9-foot heating radius thanks to its height. However, in hands-on testing, we found the height put that heating radius a bit high for most uses. With some adjustability, this heater puts out 46,000 BTUs. The heat is comfortable, and the attractive design feels upscale in the backyard. Assembly took about 30 to 45 minutes and included filling the base with water or sand, we chose water. You can use the included tools, but a ratchet wrench of your own will help when tightening down all the screws and covers. The body is made of durable stainless steel that had no problem weathering a blustery rainstorm or two. The heater stays maneuverable with two small wheels on the base. At 89 inches tall, this model towers above most of the competitors. In this instance, we're not sure the height really helped. During testing, we found that it was so tall that we couldn't feel the heat quite as well in colder temperatures. It still radiated that full 9 feet, but heat rises, which meant that those of us on the shorter end of the spectrum couldn't feel the warmth when farther away from the heater. Why we love it. Puts out a good amount of heat, offers some output adjustability. Lightweight and easy to move, maneuverable with two small wheels on the base. Straightforward assembly and attractive design. Number 2, Mr. Heater F215100MH4B Little Buddy Propane Heater. The small size and weight of this heater make it ideal for taking along on a cool weather camping trip or an outdoor picnic in brisk autumn air. It can even warm up a chilly garage workshop. It measures just 11 inches high and 11 inches in diameter and weighs just 5 pounds, which is small enough to fit into most backpacks. With its ability to pump out 3,800 BTUs of heat, this little heater can warm up to 95 square feet of space. It runs off of a standard 1-pound propane canister, which lasts between 5 and 6 hours. Safety features include a low-oxygen supply shutoff and an accidental tip-over shutoff. This little heater is incredibly handy, lightweight, and quiet, we barely noticed it was there. Hunters could use it in a blind without announcing their presence. Assembly and setup were simple, too. All it took to get going was connecting the propane and pressing the igniter button. We happen to have the 20-year-old predecessor to this little guy. While the current little buddy doesn't put out quite as much heat, it's much safer and quieter. A tip-over shutoff feature cuts the power if the bottle falls. It's a good thing it has that feature because the 8-inch base is easy to knock over. The downside is the single heat setting and the fact that it can only be used with 1-pound propane bottles. Why we love it. Portable and lightweight, ideal for travel and outdoor use. Easy two-step setup process gets heat pumping quickly. Produces good heat for the size. Number 3, Dynaglo KFA 50 DGD Kerosene Forced Air Heater. Pumping out 50,000 BTUs of heat through its cannon-shaped design, this kerosene heater from Dynaglo is helpful when it comes to warming up spaces that a home's HVAC system doesn't service, like garages and large sheds that function as workshops. A powerful blower allows it to heat up to 1,200 square feet of unheated space, and its ample 5-gallon tank can provide heat for up to 14 hours. A convenient fuel gauge lets the user know how many hours of fuel are remaining. There's a large handle that lends to more easily transporting this heater, which weighs about 27 pounds. Safety features include overheat shutoff protection and a flameout sensor. This heater is no joke. We tested it in an 800 square foot, uninsulated shop in 50 degree Fahrenheit weather. We already have a wood stove in the shop but wanted to see how the Dynaglo compared. This heater single-handedly made more heat than the wood stove. Not only that, the powerful fan pumped the heat through the space much more efficiently. 
The owner's manual specifies that this heater can be used with seven fuel sources, including diesel. Kerosene is the recommended choice because it burns cleaner, but it's nice to know you have options. There were a couple of downsides, however. First, we tested the very base model, so there was only one heat setting. The second con, this heater is loud. You can't have a nice quiet conversation while it's going. Finally, the fan requires electricity, so it's not useful for power outages. Why we love it. Puts out a lot of heat, beat a wood stove in our test. Powerful fan circulates the heat well throughout decent sized spaces. Can run off of seven different fuel types, including diesel. Number 4, Highland HLDS01 GTSS Quartz Glass Tube Heater. Thanks to this quartz glass tube heater from Highland, a backyard living space doesn't have to go into hibernation come wintertime. Rated at 40,000 BTUs, this outdoor heater generates plenty of heat to ward off the coldest weather. With its stainless steel finish, quartz glass, and visible flames, this Highland Tower heater will add warmth as well as style to a patio. A control knob allows adjusting of the flame size while an auto-tilt shut-off switch provides safety. Thanks to a sturdy set of wheels as its base, this heater can also be moved around a yard or a patio space. In addition to making for an attractive backyard heater, this heater looks much heavier than it is. We found it surprisingly easy to move around and even carry. The first time, the flame shot up the glass tube, we gasped. The white metal cage that surrounds the heater reminded us of a hamster cage at first, but once it's lit up, it definitely looks nothing like a hamster cage. It's beautiful and fun. Although this model doesn't put out as much heat as other outdoor heaters, it sure looks a lot cooler doing it. The Highland builds more ambience while putting out a decent amount of heat in the surrounding 3 or 4 feet. Our one issue was assembly. The directions estimated 1 hour for assembly. However, it took us almost two hours from start to finish. We even used power tools instead of the manual tools that came with the heater. A good portion of that time was spent peeling a protective film off of the stainless steel panels. Make sure you have more than one person when putting this heater together. Why we love it. Beautiful look of the flame and the glass tube, adds warmth as well as style. Lightweight and easy to move around despite height. Easy to control and adjust the flame slash heat. Number 5, Mr. Heater Vent Free Natural Gas Heater MHVFB30 NGT. For raw heating power, it's tough to beat this natural gas heater. With 30,000 BTUs, this convection heater can make a 1,000 square foot space feel toasty. In addition to being powerful, it's also versatile and can be mounted to the wall or the floor. Features include a thermostat that enables easy temperature control and an automatic low oxygen shutoff valve. Users are also attracted to its design. With its narrow profile, fireplace looks, and visible flames, this is a heater that can be displayed in almost any living area. For those without a natural gas hookup, the Mr. Heater 30,000 BTU heater is also available in a propane version. Why we love it. Can be mounted to the wall or on the floor. Built-in thermostat enables easy temperature control. Available in a propane version for those without a natural gas hookup. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our video and found it to be helpful, please do like, comment, and share this and for future videos like this. Please do subscribe to our channel.